We are here in a gorgeous field of grass. Uh, this is our last round of grazing here in Shinnok. And, and just while we are here and just talking through this, uh, the, these girls have come out from a, a morning milking. I'm uh, sorry, they come out from an evening milking this evening. They've got meal this morning. They're that bit hungry, as you can see, and they're laying into this. And we'll see a field in a minute where we're happy they graze out. I suppose one message while we're here, if this weather keeps up, and let's hope it does, we're all going to get very tempted to keep grazing right on in November and we'll go back and we'll graze ground that we grazed for the last time in early October. Lads, all the principles we've been doing for years, we've still got to stick with it. Meaning, you start closing up ground there in early October, you try to get about 2% of your farm closed per day up until early days of November and you do not go back in that ground. So 60% of the ground is closed there in around 30 days. It's all closed by early November and no matter how tempting it will be when we hit November, if weather is dry, to go back and graze that, particularly if we're short of silage. Don't do it, because we can't have it at both sides. If we graze it again in November, we just won't have it there in early February when we want to go out again. The 40% that you haven't grazed in that run up to early November, you can make that stretch out as long as you like. So you can spend the rest of November grazing that away if weather conditions stay good, and that'll be great and it'll shorten the winter. The reason we're in this paddock is the cows came out of this. We saw them coming out actually a minute ago. Uh, this is an absolutely perfectly grazed out paddock is what you want at the moment. Now, let's not praise ourselves too much. Conditions are very good. There was a nice cover here. There was a cover around 2000. We've reduced our meal feeding at the moment because we've sufficient grass on the farm. We're still feeding three kilos. They got to three kilos this morning and they came in here and they finished out this paddock. So they're going into the paddock and they're staying in it until we hit this type of residual. You can see most of it is bare to the floor and obviously there's some dunk pats around the place. If you're feeding meal, you need to get it down to that because otherwise what you're doing is you're replacing more expensive meal with cheaper grass and you're leaving grass after you. If you're feeding meal and you're doing it out to this, you're doing a superb job and you're getting a big response to that meal that's going into cows at the moment. While I have you, while I have you, if you'll permit me, I'd just like to advertise Shinnok Open Day will be here on Tuesday the 13th of November. Uh, everybody is welcome. Uh, we're still coming up with the exact team of what we'll be doing. We'll probably change around a bit different to other years and we're planning to have some of them indoors or as we call in workshops rather than maybe coming in and hearing the like of me lecturing to you. We're, 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 we'll try to get a bit more audience involvement and we'll be looking to the future. You know, future of dairy farming in West Cork as regards sustainability, as regards where we're going with animal welfare, where are we going with labour, which is very topical on, on every dairy farmer. How can we make it more, the groovy word at the minute is sustainable, but equally how can we simplify things or maybe outsource more stuff so to give everyone a chance uh, to balance this peak work in spring between everything that has to be done and, and the hours in the day. So our team will be a bit different f uh, from other years, but it should be very interesting. That's Tuesday, the 13th of November uh, this year.